hello everyone today i am going to do another improvement to my old climbing system as you can see the hands now move in a little curve instead of uh, in the previous implementation my hand went from uh, one hanging point to the next hanging point in a straight line but now it goes in with a little curve like this all right that's what i'm going to cover today and as always this episode is also sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me so at the moment uh, when i move on the wall as you can see here the hands goes in a straight line from the hanging current hanging point to the next hanging point and that's kind of make it looks like a robot so instead of that what i want to do is i want the hand to move uh, more like in a curve instead of moving it through a straight straight line to the next point so how can i do that and in order to get the required effect i couldn't find any suitable animations in mixamo and i'm i'm not an animator because so i don't know how to create animations to get that desired effect so therefore i'm going trying to do it in a programmatical way okay right so let's see our animation blueprint and yeah this is where i love the current point to the next ik point so maybe here i can do some function to give some difference let's see I'll disconnect this and split first I'm gonna try this only with Z so I'll put X and Y exactly as this and then Z mm. yeah I'll get distance from this one to this one like this well mm, no 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 let me disable this I'm gonna do it in another way okay so based on this difference I'll create I'll add an offset to the IK uh, let me show you so here this is the IK of right hand I'll add another vector to this and then I'll promote this to IK RH Delta Oh no Offset Can I move this Near IK RH Yeah. so I'll keep the initial value as 0 <laughs> right and now here I'll set 
that value like this hit ikrh offset based on this well to get this I need a curve well I kind of starting to feel like these are disorganized so I'll make a category quickly wall okay I'll do it off the screen right I put those variables under wall like okay. now I'll add a new variable and the type of it should be a float curve so I'll call it offset curve and it should be float curve curve float this one compile right now we need to create a curve what can I create a curve let's see right curve uh, okay let's create a vector curve And we need to change that variable type in order to use it instead of curve float vector curve curve vector right wait why isn't that uh, available here right now let's open this uh, what's the usual distance between two knobs let's see okay I'm not sure how to calculate that let's put an object here right now it's 1325 okay not how much is this this is uh, in the z distance in the z uh, axis this is 749 if I move it like this it's 5 okay it's about 200 right so let's keep 200 as the maximum distance and I'll add a key to X how can I add a key to Y okay key to all curves all right okay now we have the keys like this this is y and this is x and this is z so I need only Z for now right 
when it is 0 I'll leave this as 0 and I'll add another key to the Z at 200 let's see key to X key to Y key to Z okay it should be here at 0 Okay, I, I can hide this right now here I'll add key to all curves and this is a Z right so I'll move this one like this and I'll smooth it Okay, and smooth. I need to smooth it in both ways. Okay. Right. Let's do it like this. Okay. Now here, let's get this offset curve and get vector value in time of this. And I'll set this as the IKRH offset. Alright, shall we see what happens? I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, now it goes in some curve. As you can see, I guess that's too much. But sure it is going in a curve. Alright. Can we slow it down a little bit? Let's try point one. <gasps> No, that's not good enough. It's not good at all. <gasps> okay, I think I should decrease this Okay, so let's apply this effect to the right hand and left hand and then let's start modifying, uh, start fine doing them. So for the IKLH, I'll duplicate this and I'll call it IKLH offset. 
I'll move it right next to the IKLH. Okay. And let's use that here. Let's get some space. Right now, here I'll set IK alleged offset same as before. Let's try point two five. distance get vector get vector value that over yeah yeah Okay, but the real problem here is this hand does not bend from the elbow. So how can I bend it? Well, yeah, I think I'll take a look at that feature in the next episode because this has already taken about 18 minutes one step at a time and thanks for watching so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and also i have released another episode in my 30 percent shooter series which is in early access for the patreon so feel free to check that if you like and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye